boy, do we need you. Yeah. <laughs> we've been talking about the economics uh, of this virus on this show for a long time. And yesterday, we've, we have uh, uh, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin touting this $1 trillion um, stimulus plan in response to the co coronavirus pandemic. It includes sending out checks to Americans immediately, and we're hearing $1,000. Can you break down this plan and tell us how that would work logistically? Because are we talking about $1,000 a week, $1,000 a month? Is it tax, one time $1,000? What is this about? Well, there's still, Sonny, a lot that we don't know specifically about the plan because they haven't unveiled the official plan at this point. But what we know is that those checks need to get in the hands hands of Americans as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin said in the next two weeks, it's likely that it will be before the end of April, assuming that the plan does pass. And it is at this point a one-time check in that range of $1,000, maybe a little bit more. There will be income cutoffs. If you're making a million dollars, for example, yeah. yesterday the Treasury Secretary said, this isn't for you. But it is mm -hmm. undeniable the unemployment rate in this country is facing a lot of pressure with all of these shutdowns. And we've already seen claims for unemployment uh, and unemployment insurance surging yeah. with so many hotel workers, restaurant it's workers, bar workers. It's skyrocketed, right? Yes. Okay. Hmm. I mean, uh, the bottom line here is that there is a giant crater right now in our economy. You can't shut the world down the way that we have and not have a near-term economic effect. The longer-term question is the length of the disease, how U.S. consumers respond, and also how the government responds. And, and without a contingency plan, now, what are the benefits of this immediate cash payment versus, let's say, a payroll tax cut or something longer term, because we've heard about that as well. Well, you have the near term issue right now. People who are out of work and can't pay their bills, there is a domino effect from that. It's not just a matter of people can't pay their bills. You have to think about everybody on the other end of those bills and those businesses as well, as well right. and their employees who become at risk. So the near term impact of giving people this money is allowing them to make their payments right now without their paychecks. If you were to go the direction of that payroll tax cut, it would depend on people actually having payroll, employees actually getting paychecks to see the benefit of it. I have a, a crazy question. It's Whoopi here. Mm -hmm. um, why isn't, why aren't we talking about mortgage uh, forgiveness and debt forgiveness since everyone is not working and also tax forgiveness? Wouldn't that take the pressure off people if we, if no one had to worry about doing that? Because there wouldn't be a run on banks because the banks have their insurance to take care of them. It seems to me there are a lot of things that we should be looking at that would relieve the pressure on people of, oh my God, I have to pay my, I have to pay my bill, I have to pay this, I have to pay that if no if we were for if debt forgiveness was in the future wouldn't that help well, it certainly is something that Italy is working with right now. What we've actually seen, Whoopi, are a number of private companies, uh, Goldman Sachs, Capital One, uh, credit card companies telling people with credit cards, you don't have to make the payment this month and we will not charge you fees for that. We won't charge you interest for that. I would caution that if you can make your credit card payments, even though that sounds enticing, you should be making them because the longer term it goes, the bigger that debt balance grows for you personally. So mm -hmm. make it if if you can afford to make it. But again, part of the issue is the domino effect. Now, you have two different parties right now that can really shape things. You have the government, which can put money directly in people's hands, and you have the Federal Reserve, which can sort of grease the skids of the financial markets. And by cutting interest rates to 0%, they free up the ability for banks to make some of these, um, th these things that are better for people. Uh, and, and one thing I want to add here, a lot of people looking at this are going to think, 2008. And the good news, at least at this point in time, is that the banking system is on much stronger financial footing. So the banking system has the ability now to help much more than they could back then. That's great. Now, we talked about how a lot of workers are already being affected. Treasury, Sec Treasury Secretary Mnuchin said that it could be up to 20% unemployment. What is the immediate relief for small businesses right now and in individuals who are relying on tips and service industry to get their pay? I think it is a very scary time for the 30 million small businesses in this country that mm -hmm. a lot of these businesses, Sarah, live paycheck to paycheck in the same way that Americans do. And they will have that extension of the tax payment for 90 days, according to the new White House stimulus plan, 
but for them, talking to your small business association, talking to your competitors. That's actually an interesting idea right now that I've been hearing some people talking about. Instead of going at this totally alone, talk to the person up the street that's doing the same thing and band together, and then it's on us. I went around this weekend and bought gift cards to every cafe in my neighborhood, yeah. every restaurant in my neighborhood. If you think about the things you wanna see in your neighborhood after this crisis, yeah. and you invest in them today, it will help. Mm. So let me ask you about the, the stimulus plan. Um, it seems pretty clear it's gonna pass in some way, mm -hmm. shape, or form. And yet the stock market isn't responding. Yeah. It's not like the stock market is suddenly saying, oh, okay, uh, we're in good shape now. We're moving forward. Right. The stock market continues to dip. Why isn't there that faith on Wall Street that this is going to help solve the issue or at least help at least temper it? Because the problem is bigger than that. Um, you know, we're talking about a trillion dollar stimulus right now. Mm -hmm. During the financial crisis, the entire stimulus package was $785 billion. There are industries right now that are facing critical, critical times. Americans who cannot go to work because the entire economy is shut down. And I think Wall Street is aware of the fact that what's being done right now can cushion the blow. But going forward, there are big questions about what happens to these industries and how quickly the consumer comes back after all of this.